Hi, you're very welcome. My name is Ian Lawler. Welcome to Horizon Speakers and thanks for stopping by and checking out our Wheel of Life. The Wheel of Life is something that has been used in coaching for a good while now. Many of you will all have already come across it. If you have, we think it's something you should do pretty regularly when you're setting your goals, maybe once a year or every six months. And if it's new to you, well, let's just spend a couple of minutes just to run through it very quickly and you'll have an idea what to do. This whole thing will only take you a couple of minutes and you can do it along as I explain it. So first of all, draw out your circle, or you can print the one off that's on the web page. Then you mark it into the seven areas that we use. Our seven areas are uh, personal growth, personal development, career and business. Uh, next thing we have is family and relationships, your and then financials, your health and fitness, your social and fun, and finally then your spiritual and contribution. So basically what we do is we let the center of the, um, of the circle represent zero. We let the outside of the circle represent 10. You mark each of these seven areas, zero to 10. So in your finances, to take an easy one, have you plenty of money? Do you find that you know, money is easy coming to you, that you can do things without money being the limiting factor? Or are you very tight for money? Is it always a challenge? Is it always a struggle? So zero would be challenge. 10 would be, yeah, it's great, I have plenty of it. Health and fitness, are you in great shape? Are you really happy with all that kind of stuff? That'd be a 10. No, I need to do something about it while you'd be moving down towards a zero. So you look through the seven different areas and mark yourself out. So personal growth, personal development. Do you find that you are moving on in life? Are you finding that you're learning and growing and that you're, you're happy with that kind of thing? Or do you find that you've kind of stagnated? So if you're moving on, you're learning, you're happy that each year you progress on, then maybe that's a 10. Career and business, you know, is business good? You know, we're in, a, we're in a difficult economic time at the moment, but at the same time, you, are you enjoying the business? Is the business happening? You know, revenues might be down on previous years, but are you still getting on and, and you know, enjoying your working day in your career, the same thing? Have you growth opportunities? Are you looking forward to growing in, 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 in business in your career? Family and relationships, it's take what you like out of the, the meaning there. I mean, is it a standard type family? Uh, you know, two adults and uh, a few kids. Uh, is it, uh, you could be a single parent, you could be a single person, full stop, or you could be just in a relationship. Whatever it means to you, are you happy with your family dynamic or with your relationships at the moment? Also the kind of interpersonal relationships that you have on a daily basis, are you happy with those? Uh, finance, health and fitness, we've covered those. Social and fun. If you ain't having fun, what's the point? So, I mean, are you scheduling, you know, stuff on a weekly basis? Are you getting out there? Are you having social events, social activities? Do you enjoy that kind of thing? And are you getting enough of it? Um, and then finally, spiritual and contribution. So, again, you take your own meaning from that in terms of what spiritual, spirituality means to you. So, uh, like, if you're an atheist and you're completely happy in your atheism, well, maybe you're scoring a 10 on your spirituality. But, again, just see... How do you score there? So then well, all we do is, okay, so take an example. Let's say somebody here, you know, they're, yeah, they're happy that they're moving on in their, their personal growth, their career. Yeah, they'd like to move a bit further on that. So we're just giving them maybe a six. So maybe they got an eight on the personal growth, maybe a six on the career. Family and relationships, you know, let's say, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're working, but you've got a wife and kids at home and you're happy that you're home every evening at half, five, six o'clock. You do the recreations activities with them and all that kind of stuff. So maybe you're kind of an eight there, you know, there's always room for improvement. Uh, financially, so let's just say that, yeah, things are going well financially, that you've, that, that money isn't a, uh, a huge problem. Health and fitness, let's throw in a curveball here, you know, let's just say, well, you know, people are always saying you've got a very sedentary lifestyle and all this kind of stuff, so maybe you're only scoring a two on health and fitness because you know there's things that you need to change. And maybe as a result of all the lack of energy there, maybe you're not getting out there and having as much fun on a social level as you wanted to. And then finally, spiritually, you have to say, yeah, you're content enough as to where you are at the minute. So we try to then make a circle out of this thing. So we just join up the dots. Okay, so that's a pretty wacky circle. And all that's telling you is that, okay, well, you know, it's stating the obvious as well. Okay, you need to do something on your health and fitness. You need to do something on your social and fun. So what you might do is, okay, ease off some of the goals here on the personal growth and the finance and, and put some attention here and start to round out that circle a little bit. And that's all you can hope to achieve from it, you know, it just gives you a little pointer. And the final thing you could do is ask somebody that you know well to 
score you on that chart as well and see where you think things are at. And uh, that's where we leave it at the minute. So thanks again. I hope that's of some help and uh, we look forward to any feedback or comments you have and best of luck. Thank you.